being, I don't know how familiar you are, Meredith, with mindfulness. Have you ever done mindfulness work? Um, you know what it is? Uh, 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 no, it might escape you right now. Okay, <laughs> so mindfulness work is um, often paired with meditation. It's the idea of being in the moment right here and now without judgment, right? So if my brain starts fast forwarding into the future, right? Our pain lives in the future and the past. In the right here and now, nothing's happening. You're sitting on a couch talking to me and Tiffany. There's nothing bad happening. Your emotion reaction is coming from the future, right? And then depending on the person and from the past. So learning to stay here now in the moment is a really powerful tool because you're not going to be okay when you drop him off. You're gonna be a mess and you should be, you should be sad, right? Ideally you can hold it together until you get to the car. And then as my mother did, ball your way from Cincinnati to Akron. But <laughs> in general, you're gonna not be okay at the beginning because that's a really hard transition for you. And right now, what your brain is trying to do is prepare you in a really messed up way. It's like, here, feel these feelings now because then it will be easier then. Here, think about how he's leaving now so you'll be used to it by then. And it's, to me, it's, it's kind of crap. You can't pre-grieve, right? You can know someone, something bad's gonna happen, but that doesn't yeah. mean when it happens, you're okay with it, no matter how much you obsess and torture yourself with it before it happens, Damn, right? Dude. Yeah. So, um, so one of the tools- I think my entire life has been pre-grieving every experience <laughs> I've ever That's had. what I'm saying. Right. I really oh. needed to hear that, dude. 